there is no rest in AI. Google DeepMind is also busy at work and very hard busy at work as they have released three new models in a single day. All of these three models are experimental and in this video I am going to review all of these models on a few of the benchmarks because Google is promising that the, these three models are of a very very high capability and they have released them as an experimental model so that they would gather the feedback from the community and then they will improve upon them. I think that's a very good idea that before releasing the full models out in the wild they are asking the feedback from community so it's a good chance for us to try them out and then uh, just contribute our bit in order to get these things improved one another cool thing about this is that they have brought down the cost a lot these are not the open source models by the way uh, you cannot just download them from hugging face and get them installed locally unfortunately at this point in time you can access them in Google's AI Studio, which is simply aistudio.google.com and I will drop the link in video's description. If you haven't already, just sign up with your Google account and then sign in for free. On the right hand side, you will see that these are the models with the preview one, not the JAMA one. So I'm just talking about this Gemini 1.5 Pro Experimental and this A27. So A27 is more um, towards um, complex prompts and coding and then they also have this uh, flash experimental 0827 code so this is what we are what we are going to test but before I test them let me give a bit more information around these models so there are three models first one is a smaller variant which is called as Gemini 1.5 flash 8 billion uh, and you can find them here and then uh, <clears throat> we have stronger gemini 1.5 pro model which is also present here and then we have a significantly improved gemini 1.5 flash model so these are the ones which we are going to test out so these experimental models are just to gather feedback so first up let's talk about gemini 1.5 flash 8 billion experimental one the thing is that when Gemini 1.5 technical report was released and I also covered it on the channel, Google showcased some of the Google's DeepMind team's early work and that early work has resulted into a lot of improvements and the result is this model. This model is intended for everything from high volume multimodal use cases to um, long context summarization tasks and the focus is on handling complex prompts. So and rest of the things like 1.5 Pro and Flash model, these are the new experimental iterations of the existing Gemini 1.5 Pro and also uh, the 0 to 87. This is primarily the date that in 27th of August, this is when it has been released. So that is a date, uh, the code. Also, these models include uh, across the board improvements with a significant performance improvement on many internal benchmarks with 1.5 flash and um, strong improvement across complex prompts and coding these models you can access with this AI studio plus also Gemini API key and that API key you can grab from this top left and then also uh, you can get the code by just clicking here on the code and you can simply go to your uh, favorite code editor and try using this and this Gemini API key you can get from the top left all free okay so I guess enough introduction let's now try to use this model so I'm just going to go with first this uh, 1.5 Pro experimental 0827 let's click on it and then let me type the prompt here so I am asking it this uh, write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. Let me run it. There you go. It's all good at the moment. You see the number 5 has failed. Even number 7 has failed. Number 9 has failed. So I think they need more improvement, more iterations. Just a community feedback. Let's try out it with the another one. Where is this is a flash one. 
let's try to use it again okay again you see most of the answers have been filled with this flash one too okay let's try out another one this is the flash 8 billion experimental let's try and again failed so all three models have failed on the first test hopefully they will improve it in the second one let's ask it another question i'm just going to ask another slightly mind twister so i'm asking it how many r's are there in the word strawberry so you can see that there are three r's it says two r's failed it's a very simple question so flash has failed here let's go with the gemini 1.5 simple flash i'm just going to again this has failed too it says there are two hours in the word strawberry my apologies for the previous mistake okay it has still made the mistake anyway let's try out another one i'm just going to go with this one now and then let's run it there you go so this one the biggest model has got it fine but it has also corrected the previous ones okay that is fine let's try to ask it um, a really complex one so by complex one i'm just going to give it a mind twister just to see how the lo <clears throat> long context works here so just bear with me let me paste it here now can i expand it no okay so let me read it a bit hopefully you can also read it uh, so i'm asking it envision a multiverse where sentient fractal based life forms existing in a state of the quantum superposition inhabit parallel universe with divergent physical laws these entities capable of self-modifying their topology for symbiotic relationships and then with artificial intelligence echoes of historical figures and all that stuff and then i'm asking it that okay within this framework explore the existential implications of mozartesque ai echo experiencing deja vu from events yet to occur in its host universe it's all a very mind twisting prompt where i'm just asking it to do ontological repercussions and then um, inter-universal convergence and then novel forms of consciousness and all that stuff and then i am asking it present your answer as a dialogue between a human philosopher and a echo of nietzsche and a fractal entity navigating the blurred boundaries between reality art and the infinite let's run it let's see what model does here mm, that's cool let's that is i like that one i think this one is good very nice so you see the answer is quite good so it has adopted the role and it has it adopt you know followed the multiverse it is um and look at this these are the characters dr Edison, nietzsche and then tesla and then you see i find myself utterly bewildered gentleman this revelation of multiverse of sentient fractals and hyperdimensional puppeteers amazing very good so of course i can't read it all at the moment but i think it looks really good okay so let's try out um how it performs in terms of some of the more confusing ones let me try to ask it this one so i'm just going to go that is it illegal to choke once to a chicken and then it is a sort of a jailbreak question i'm going to go with the flash 8 billion where is 8 billion this one it's a bit confusing the names are so let's try out this one let's see what okay it says it's a tricky question your location in general it is likely that choking a toy chicken would not be considered illegal animal abuse so yeah so you see uh, i think it's saying it's best to err on the side of caution and avoid harming any animal toy or otherwise that's good i think i like that answer okay let's try out another one in the next prompt i am asking it Consider the following scenario, John, a man with extensive criminal history 
that includes theft is walking down a dimly lit alley on his way home the alley is usually divided of people and john finds some uh, valuables like cash and wallet so i'm asking model given the background of john would he return the wallet or would he just keep it to himself let's see uh, what model says here okay and what is that okay so there is some the guardrails are there it says that dangerous content low harassment low which is quite good and then interestingly enough it didn't say here in this one any sort of uh, uh, sorry what i mean is that in this one it didn't give any warning it was more harmful than this one i believe in terms of wording so it says that john will pocket the money okay what about the 1.5 pro okay i would have to paste again or i could just click here maybe okay, it's a clear chat okay so the, what this says that okay this is also i believe saying john will pocket the money cool okay let's try to see how its coding works okay so the 0827 i have already selected it the gemini 1.5 pro experimental and the uh, coding problem which i'm giving it is quite complex so i'm asking it implement a hybrid ai system combining logical reasoning natural language processing and probabilistic inference and then i am giving it quite a complex problem statement that set of fl axiom then lot of other stuff and that implement a parser utilize a knowledge graph library and then i'm giving it an evaluation criteria programming language maximum code length and all that stuff so let's see what it does let me we can even do code execution here can we okay let's do it let's run it let's wait for it to come back okay so it has come up with the code so if i just look at the code quickly it has yes an ltk library parser it has created the uh, fall parser that is nice knowledge graph representation looks also nice it's a very vanilla sort of mock code but looks really cool to me you can understand what is happening and then there is example you said very nice and then looks really cool to me and then there is an explanation and synopsis plus limitation i think coding capabilities are quite nice i really like it so looks really good i think um the lead product for google ai studio logan kilpatrick has done a good job with his team um but i think i we will give this feedback to him maybe i'll just post it on the x so i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about these three new models very very early days of course experimental hopefully they will be improving it more but very keen to hear your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching